Now there's a common misunderstanding even among German native speakers about what the Wehrmacht is or is not. Quite common is the assumption that the Wehrmacht was the German army, the Luftwaffe, the Air Force, and the Kriegsmarine, the Navy. But this is only partially correct. So what is the correct version? Now the Wehrmacht were the combined German armed forces except for the political armed units. Thus the three branches of the Wehrmacht were the Heer, the Army, the Luftwaffe, the Air Force, and the Kriegsmarine, the Navy, or literally War Navy. Now if you ever confuse the Wehrmacht with the German Army, don't worry, because it's a common misconception. Now one of the reasons for this is the sometimes imprecise usage of the term by authors, scholars, and YouTubers. This includes me, by the way. So what is the reason for this imprecision? Well, it's mostly practical and usually not wrong. Uh, but let me explain. First off, the most dominant part in the Wehrmacht was the army. Since the army was part of the Wehrmacht, using Wehrmacht usually is not wrong. And since writers and content creators want some variety in their words, one might start with Wehrmacht and then switch to German army, like I did in my recent Barbarossa video. Where well, I talk about the Wehrmacht attacking the Soviet Union, but then switch to the logistical situation and captured equipment of the army. Nothing wrong, but for the uninitiated, this could lead to the wrong conclusion that the Wehrmacht equals the German army. An additional aspect is if someone uses Wehrmacht, nearly everyone knows in broad terms what to think. Yet when someone uses Heer, the German word for army, even native speakers might be confused. After all, it's a technical term and not a name. Yet even for the initiated, there are some pitfalls. Because for the most part of the war, the German command structure had quite an oddity in it. There was the Oberkommando der Wehrmacht, high command of the armed forces, but there was also the Oberkommando des Heeres, high command of the army. Now since the army was part of the Wehrmacht, you would conclude that the high command of the army was subjugated to the high command of the armed forces. But this wasn't the case. To quote, because of uncertainty and jealousy over the relative status of the Wehrmacht High Command and those three services, individual theaters of war were placed under the command of either the OKW or OKH. As a result, various theaters were under different authority at certain points in time. As always, sources are in the description. If you want to learn more about German military history, check this playlist. Or maybe you are interested in a current assessment of the US and Chinese Navy, then check out this video. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.